Okay, Debbie. You got this. Debbie, so the cliff walkers... Debbie, what? Behind you. Oh, thank you. Let me uh, get somewhere safer. Yeah, not safe, safer. Weird thought. Why was he called Safer Sephiroth? You know, I think it's meant to be. Mm, I mean, I'm sure it's a mistranslation, but from what? Agent Proof, very resourceful, able to procure the exact copy of the book Dante was looking, hoping for. Good job. Hooray. Someone disabled... Again? Seriously? Does nothing ever stay fixed? No. Oh, Senator... Oh, yeah, the birthday party in Edinburgh. Who is? Oh yeah, that that thing. I remember that. I don't think we sent someone on that. Here, here you go. You can take care of that. I have faith in you. So okay, yeah, apparently it's like the two words are the same in Hebrew. Uh Sefer uh. Sephiroth. Or, you know, I mean, I, I don't speak Hebrew. Is this a throne? Oh, oh, fuck. That's a big-ass throne. Are we in the Hall of the Sasquatch King? We see them walking in from a past age. The wild children, one of Gaia's favorites. Were they a precursor to you, sweetling, or an improvement? A mystery in a footprint. Scanning. Into the deep woods of North America, to places of otherworldly calm, a scrap of fragrant hair caught on a thorn. Here, here! They've roamed this place since the beginning of the Fourth Age. With centuries spanning lifespans and low birth rates, their numbers are never great. With a natural ability to channel anima, they can vanish and thrive. Intelligent, social, and highly spiritual. They walk in the blur. They can vanish? So, it's not just the photos that are blurry. It's the Sasquatch. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I know. I, I don't believe it either. No, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I was serious. That actually explains a lot. It it does, but I don't believe it. No, I don't know what they were doing. Making out. Test the samples. Test samples. Sorry, you want, no, you want you to go ahead. Yeah. Test the samples acquired from the C CDC on both Condition Seventeen Zombie and Crypto R Six Wendigo subjects. We assume with sixty three point three 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 percent recurring probability, the Crypto R R Six have been rendered docile by the bio occult fog. Use one dose per subject. Record each injection on the provided forms. Avoid contact and cooperation with CDC staff. Well, yeah. Well, you know what? Statistics mean they were not wrong. I mean, you know, 57.8% of statistics are just bullshit. <laughs> and 92.3 of those are just made up on the spot. Quick access inventory updated. Quick access inventory. Scanning! Focusing aperture! New England! The beasts of gluttony have crawled from the cool darkness of nightmare and bedtime stories. They stalk the forests of Kingsmouth. The ancient spirits fit so nicely into the fleshy folds of a modern mind's avarice. The Wabanaki recognize the beasts, have been warned through their stories handed down the generations. They know the precautions to take to protect the sleeping minds of their people. But no one knows the way to protect their meat from teeth. 
And now the night is so very full of teeth. So yeah, there was a there was a there was a mutated Wendigo named Algernon there. That's probably the one that took them out. Oh, did you bring flowers for him? Um, I sent him to his grave. Cl- we'll put some flowers on the grave then. Then it'll be a literary reference. To show that I still care, black roses and hail marys. I I don't know that one. You're referencing a lot of songs I've never heard. God, do you not know metal? I don't know as much as I should. God, you're terrible. <sighs> this gives us an overview of the wildlife in the region. In a nutshell, you're up against ancient varieties of the reju- rejuvenated numbers. Oh. Mm. The wind they go in a cob appear to be fiercely territorial, neither particularly eager to encroach upon the other. The drog are far more enterprising. We've received reports of pods being hauled down to the quarry. Hence all the high-ranking drug in the area. Looks like they're setting up a watering hole to establish an inland presence. I mean, we kind of gathered that. I'm not telling her everything. Oh, good. Good on you. I've taught you well. So yeah, I decided not to kill the sat squatch cliffwalker, and he pointed me towards a giant drog that, you know... Good, good. Man, I hope, I hope we can still be yeah. friends with the Sasquatch when all this is over. So, let's see. Let me find a Wendigo and, su- and test these samples on them. You know, when this is over, you think you could point me in the direction of some good metal? I could certainly do that. Thanks. Okay. Red sample. Okay, that just went, drove into a frenzy. Not good. Cloud of poo gas. No, it drove into a freaking frenzy. Oh. Don't do that. Sorry. Yellow injection. Oh, it slowed it down. Nice. Now let's try the purple injection. And it's bleeding. Ew. Cool. So, like, two out of three useful. Oh, let's see. Now, up, oh, up. Oh. Mm. Let's test the samples on zombies. I mean, I, I can't imagine how anything that like works on a living thing is going to affect a zombie. Red injection. Oh. Oh. Shit, we, we got to find out what's in that one. Yeah. Get it in like a super soaker. Let's try the yellow. And that's... That stuns them. Shit, that's pretty good too. Or no, it keeps them from moving. There, it frees them in place. Cool. And let's see, purple. It makes them regenerate. Oh, not good. Not good. It makes zombies heal. Wow. Well, well fucking done, I guess. I'm glad we have science here to do that for us. So I'm saying that the uh, yellow injection seems to be the most all-purpose one. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. I mean, I think it's all just a matter of when you use it, you know? Yeah. It's like playing D&D. You don't throw out fire ma- fire magic on a red dragon. But, you know, if they want to, like, if they want to, um, 
Yeah, if they could only pick one, probably go, yeah. best to go yellow. And they told it said, do not share with the CDC. So we're going to go share it with the CDC. Yep. Marianne seems nice. She could use, you know, a, a get like this. Zombies! A word said for Wendigo became fiercer, their skin toughened. Zombies perished after injection. Target's muscle tissue only effective against creatures with low metabolism. Yeah. Purple sample. Induced hemorrhaging. Zombies enhance regeneration. Target's blood only effective against specific blood types. Yellow sample. Became dazed and slow. Immobilize. Target's nervous system. Nice. Yeah, it's good to have. High five. Consider these test results forwarded. We'll need as much data as possible to prepare various scenario-specific formulas. Then, as soon as our primary interests are secure, we'll fly a crop duster over the island and spray the shit out of anything that moves. Remind me to warn you before we do that. Um... Oh, God. Do we know what these do to people? Uh, no. Welp. The Orochi presence you're encountering is, is more specifically their vo Volley subsidiary, Genetics DNA Biotech. They're supposed to be working hand-in-hand -hand with CDC, but it's becoming increasingly clear it's more like knife in back. Essentially, Volley hijacks CDC results while holding back their own. Ciao, ciao. Fuck you too, Orochi. Fuck you very much. So are you two. Keep this all a fucking boot in the air. I had plans. Plans that were going to get us somewhere. Oh, how's your whale watching operation going, brother? Seeing any no whales got itself lost and showed up around here in 20 odd years now, huh? Yeah, ain't this all a fucking boot in the ass? Oh, okay. He's pleasant. He's also an idiot. That too. So. You figure those Wendigo will be back? We gave them a solid whooping. Of course they will, genius. They ain't ever gonna stop hungering. Same as you ain't ever gonna stop whining. Should have believed old Joe's stories instead of laughing at him. We'd be better prepared for this horse shit. Brother, you spent your life stinking up a lawn chair wearing an I believe I'll have another beer shirt. You want to lesson me on beliefs? Oh, it's on now. You want to talk about the beer fridge, huh, brother? Hey, 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 those cans crossed the line. And as far as I can tell, they were... This is so awkward. The moment I... <laughs> you know the legends of the Wendigo from TV, right? They were our people once, but cast out after they ate skin to save their own. Changed them. Made them less than human. Eating the flesh of other humans. Much less. See, old Joe throws that tail in our faces enough his favorite stick to poke a sleeping dog with. Shit. It ain't like we ate the rest of our family. Pfft, yeah. That... That's all beer and burgers. That's a very specific Those denial. Can go jump in the Miskatonic. There's no redemption. No happy ending for their tribes or ours. Just horror out there. Hunting us. We're gonna show them we're off the menu. Indian style. Hmm. So those are Ami's brothers. I can see why she stays away. Bone cracker. He's got a taste for sucking the marrow out of those forest reapers. We could use one to bait him out. Blood fang. Blinder than old Joe, but damn can that son of a bitch scent blood from four hills away. Silent trickster. Sleeps in plain sight like he's scared of nothing and no one. Someone ought to make... Sneak up on him, catching him napping. 
Elder War Cry. This one leaves what he don't eat stuck up on the end of a stick. Bro has some damn fool idea to call him out by staking a Wendigo carcass. Okay. They have put a lot of thought into that. Paul Gamelin left in that. Let's see what Paul wants him to do. That they're probably not going to do. Joe, let me spell it out straight. We're running out of fresh water and our last bottles of propane. Ooh. What? Oh, um... Well, when, when you uh, came here, they kind of need to uh, clean you up a bit. Why, it's... What, the... Oh, like the filth and... Yeah, old, old Joe, he had to do some magical thing to the water, and... I... I, I don't know about you, he, he cleaned some of it off me, too, and, like really burned when he did it. Oh, uh, I don't know about it either, because uh, I was unconscious. Oh, yeah, right, right. So, better get them some, some water, you know, kind of pay it back. Yeah. Could be we can go without propane and eat our chow raw, but we can't play at least the water. Good news is there's more of both at your casino construction site. Uh-oh. Bad news is we aren't a SWAT team. You and your bro know the place better than me, so if you've got any bright ideas, don't sit on them. Well, uh... Huh. I have a little more margin of error than they do. That you do. I think you caught the brothers Mahando here at a good time. Used to be we were busting rocks at the quarry all day. Knocking back cheap cans all night. You've been saving that one up, huh, genius? You go ahead and enjoy it. Because we ain't going back to that life. Not after what we heard from the mountain. Oh yeah, that old thing's been yabbering away for longer than brother has. Could never figure out what it was saying. And it was better that way. Because when its voice became so damn clear. It got no more love for our people. And that ain't happening. <laughs> no, that ain't it. She said she heard it like the cracking of ice on a river that's frozen. When it knows, it's gotcha. Okay, you first. I just think they're both good ventriloquists. Able to talk like that drinking from their beer. I was more noticing his bunny slippers. What? <laughs> Oh man, I didn't see those. Right. So I think I'm gonna try uh, the Wendigo. You know they can wait. I'm gonna try yeah. this first. Let me do my best solid snake impression. <laughs> oh look, there's water up there. That's the start. All right. Yeah. Maybe I won't have to actually go into the death pit. You're going to have to go into the death pit. Oh, well, maybe I don't have to. Oh, I mean, that would be nice. But we both know how this world works. Yeah. Anything worth getting is going to be inside the death pit. Maybe, maybe not. Huh. All right. Well, at least it's hammer time. It's always hammer time. Yeah. <laughs> you are too legit to quit. Uh, I think I do have to go in there. Well, that's not good. Ooh. What the hell is that? It's a golem, but it's, it's definitely uh, not like the other golems. Uh -uh. Looks almost like it's like it was insane. Hmm. Is 
there a... I thought I saw a bottle of water here somewhere. Yeah, I definitely think I have to go in here for the propane at least. And the propane accessories. What is... What is that? I don't know. It looks like a rock they drug out of the out of the pit, maybe, or big chunk of concrete could be. I don't know. This is an evil place. Very evil. Deconstructed worker. Uh, the bees have a sense of humor. I mean, that sounds like what you'd get if Hannibal Lecter was into molecular gastronomy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Two subjects I don't get the buzzed out. Okay, where are these propane tanks? Uh huh. Okay, I got water. There's one. Oh, man. What is this? It looks almost like... It looks almost like a ritual circle. Oh, God. What? They've made a pentagram. Oh, oh wait, no. no, that's sorry. No. I can't count today. I used up I used up all my math at the Orochi place. Yeah, that's that does not look like a thing you'd see at a construction site. No. And neither does that. That does not belong here. No. Hey, I know better than to get close to an obvious golem that's not yeah. moving. I'm not stupid. Oh, wow. At least they're close together. Hmm. I can get out of here now. Oh, boy. Yeah. Quick, teleport. Yes, good. Thank you. Yeah. I don't want to spend any more time here than you do. Uh, I can feel it, like, in my, in my bones. Ooh. I don't know why a construction site would be so evil, but something is evil there. I mean, I hate to say it, but I gotta say it. Maybe it was an ancient burial ground. Uh, 